I am Tina Ross with Simple Comforts uh, Home Medical and Independent Living Store. Um, it is located in the Ryle Hill Shopping Center in between Dix and uh, Kroger. Uh, we're open Monday through Friday, 9.30 to 7, and Saturdays, 9.30 to 6. So we have a wide variety of hours so that people can come in if they have to work. Um, our goal is to make sure that we provide um, products that help people stay as independent as long as possible. It helps caregivers care for the person um, uh, so that it less stress for the caregiver. Um, for someone who's in an assisted living facility, they can continue to be a little bit more independent as well. Someone who's rehabbing, um, it makes life a little easier for them. So I'm going to go over a variety of, pro of products that someone might encounter during the day to make their life easier or more comfortable. So let's say someone gets up in the morning and they have a, you know, we're a little bit weaker in the morning, and they want to get their morning coffee and they're just not as stable or holding the cup. So you can get things like this um, so that you can uh, have a little bit more stability when you're drinking someone that's had a stroke or they've got carpal tunnel um, arthritis and it becomes difficult. Um, and then they've had their coffee, they're going to get dressed for the morning. Maybe they're rehabbing and getting into that shower right now is just not a good idea, but they still want to do their, um, their thing. <clears throat> There's no rinse shampoos that you can use in a hospital. You can also then use them at home if you don't want to go through getting in the shower, washing your hair. This is what they use oftentimes in the hospital. It's a no rinse shampoo cap, so you throw this in the microwave for 15 seconds, put it on, and you just sort of lather up and toss it, and it dries by itself, and there's no rinsing. And then the no rinse bathing wipes. So you can kind of get ready in the morning without all that stress of getting into the shower and doing your thing. Then it's time to get dressed. Um, the button aid zipper hook, uh, someone who maybe has arthritis or they've had a stroke and they just can't do that anymore. If they still want to dress the way that they've always dressed, they have their favorite blouses, whatever, this goes through the button hook, grabs the button and pulls it through without them trying to do with their little fine motor skills. This end has a, a zipper hook so that if you can't quite pinch that zipper, you do that and then you have a larger, this is the diameter that if someone who's dealing with an issue of arthritis or whatever, as long as it's like your thumb and your finger putting it here, that's the perfect diameter to hold something. Um, so that's great for that. The little zipper pulls, you can clip this onto a zipper so that it makes it bigger um, so that if you can't quite pinch that, and then this can also grab that, but this would clip onto your zipper of your jacket or your shirt or whatever, and then you can just grab that and pull it up. Um, those are awesome. And then this little dressing aid stick here, I'm making all these noises, probably terrible for the, um, but this is a dressing aid stick, so if someone has a difficult problem with their shoulder, or, uh, this will grab the blouse and pull it back on. This end has a big hook, so if they need to put that and pull a zipper up, they can do that, so that's helpful. Um, the elastic shoestring, so you're getting dressed and um, you've got to get your socks and shoes on. This is a sock aid. Oftentimes when someone's had um, hip surgery, knee surgery, they're not allowed to bend but a certain degree. The sock aid, these are the things that the therapist when they're having surgery will always recommend. The sock aid, you load your sock onto this. It's got long strings. You get that down on the ground. You pull your sock on without having to bend to get down. That's awesome. Then, if you've got, you can't quite get down to tie your shoes, but you still want to wear your running shoes, go for a walk, whatever. Elastic shoelaces. These happen to be coiled. There's also straight ones. Then you can't bend to put your shoe on. Long-handled shoehorn. Get that shoe. Slide your foot in. There's, there's no bending, tying of shoelaces, so that's great. I told you I was fast, right? Um, sorry. Yeah. They call me all the time. I just saw I'm so busy. So, um, and then for people who do have foot problems, we've got a, a large foot care area. Um, so, hammer toes, ball of the foot cushion, heel cups. As we get older, 
we lose that fat pad on the ball of our foot and our heel and our feet tend to hurt when your feet hurt. Oh my gosh, you're miserable. Um, so lots of different foot care products to make. I'm just walking a little bit uh, more comfortable. The more we walk, the better. Um, then we're, we've gotten dressed. We're going to have breakfast. So we go downstairs and we have things that we've got to do to get ready for breakfast. Well, we've gotten dressed. The last thing we want to do is have to get undressed if we spill something. This is one of my favorite things. It's, a, it's in the, um, my car door because I'm on the road all the time, like I'm sure a lot of you who market are. So um, this became my best friend. It's a long clothing protector, a little Velcro here, so it covers your legs, your uh, top, so to protect yourself. So that might be convenient. <laughs> oh, I forgot something that reminded me. Um, so here, when they're ready to eat, but holding regular utensils are difficult. Um, this just happens to be a large grip, and they come in fork, knife, spoon, everything. The color of red, this is a new product, maybe about a year old, a little bit of research. Red helps um, people with Alzheimer's eat more. So there's red utensils, red plates, red uh, cups, all that kind of thing. Um, some of my customer favorites here, and mine as well. If you have to open a water bottle or soda bottle or any kind of a bottle, um, insure, whatever, and it's difficult to break that seal. So I have a little water bottle here just to experiment or show you. So instead of having to grab this and try to break a seal and twist, and you don't have the strength or you want to prevent uh, injury, this is a fits with teeth here. So and then it just this just turns and it's open and the lids there. So that makes it very easy for someone instead of ca calling their husband, or, ooh, there was a little bit of water left in there. <laughs> um, so instead of having to um, get someone else to help them, or then they did that and then they're suffering the rest of the day because they've stra uh, put a strain on, you know, the already uh, painful hand, um, that helps. Um, my mother happens to live alone and um, so she would always say, can you come over and open all my bottles of Ensure? And, you know, because I can't get them open. So I just, I gave her all these devices so that she doesn't have to wait for me to come. Not that I don't want to go do that, but. Um, so, and then this and this, big customer favorites and my, my favorite. This, I'm scared of anything sharp. So let's say you wanted to open up a can. All the cans, not all of them, but a lot of the cans now are the, ring top pulls that you have to pull. Well, I sent this to my girlfriend in Florida, eight stitches opening up the cat food can. So, and that's something you have to do every day. So this little goes um, inside that little ring pull so it sits on top of the can and you just rock it back and it takes it off and you can throw it away that, that way and not touch it. That's helpful. This, say you're making your toast in the morning, you need to open up your jelly jar or you're making dinner and spaghetti jar and there is no open in that can or that jar. This goes right under the lip of the jar, just a little lift up. It takes that vacuum seal out. I'm seeing these people that own these. It's, I mean, you think, oh, yes, you know, $5.99 and it becomes one of your favorite things that you can't live without. Um, Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so, and then the reacher, everyone can use a reacher, but um, particularly if, you know, bending down can be difficult. Uh, one of the things, I do a lot of fall prevention seminars, and um, one of the things, you know, you bend down to pick something up and you stand up and you're like, oh my God, the blood just, you know, and you're like, you get dizzy. So um, you can, you know, pick something up, go up higher, do not... Stand on a chair to get something out of a cupboard. Always use a reacher to do something like that. Um, and then we want to go out for the day, run some errands. Hopefully we're, we can still drive. I'm going to show a few things for getting in and out of the car. Um, there was statistics several years ago. Um, 65,000 seniors went to the emergency room each year from falling, getting in and out of the car. So you don't think of the car as one of those places that 
you have a problem of falling, but it, it, it is. Um, because it's hard for, you know, particularly if there are sedans and they're low and it's a pivot to get out of. And then, so I'm going to show you a couple of things that can make getting in and out of the car easier. This one happens to be a safety device for everyone. Anyway, um, AAA is saying everyone should keep one of these devices to be able to break the window if you get into deep water, you can't get the car door open. But it was designed so that when you, oh, I filled up that chair. Um, so let's pretend like this is the um, driver's seat right here. And what I forgot to bring was my swivel seat. We talked about something for your car seat. But um, there is a swivel seat um, that pivots you. It's like a lazy Susan with a cushion on it. My mother's sitting on two now because she's shrunk so much. But So you can use the swivel seat to pivot. And then right in the car door here, every car has the solid steel into the metal frame to keep the door closed and secured. This goes into that. This has an arm on it. Can't do it. So you push here so that you can have something steady to push yourself to hold on to when you're getting out of the car. Um, if you do happen to get in an accident, this up in here, you can cut your seat belt off. So it's a great little device. Um, this is a handle on a, kind of like a rope, so that if you need to put that on the frame of the car door, you can hold to pull up. You can do both, push and pull, to get out of the car. And then sending one, a couple of these to my girlfriend. Uh, her dad's got rotator cuff problems, so he cannot reach, like do this, to pull his seat belt down. So, this attaches to the seat belt so that all you have to do is grab here and pull down to do that. So these just make life easier and more comfortable for everyone. But if you've got an issue, which we tend to do when we get older, um, you know, the handicap stickers that you hang on the window uh, mirror, those are only supposed to be put there when you're parked. And they have to come down, but people tend not to want to do that because it's a, these. Um, you've got the little thing that hooks there, and there's it's a, a sleeve, so it can stay in there, and it's just a magnet, so you don't have to keep trying to hang it up there. It just magnetizes and comes down, so that's great. If you do have shoulder problems, um, this is the door pulley that a lot of the therapists will send people in for. It goes right over your, you know, your door, and so one hand will pull the other one up to get that range of motion going. It's very important if you do have shoulder problems not to baby it too much because we tend to do that. And then if you get frozen shoulder, that's the worst. Mm -hmm. Worse than, um, so you want to try to prevent that um, and just help yourself by just one hand pulling that bad shoulder up. Um, this is a great little gadget that say you want to, um, well, I'll tell you a story. And I might have shared this with you about a year ago. But um, I had um, a customer at Christmas time. We had a, a store in the mall. <clears throat> and she came in, and there was a, a big line of people. And she, stood, she was standing at the back. I thought she was waiting for someone to check out. And then finally, everyone left, and she walked up to me. And I said, oh, my gosh, I'm so sorry. I, I thought you were waiting for someone. She says, no. And she was so sweet. No, I just wanted to tell you, I was in here yesterday, and I bought one of these pens. And I had decided last year that I was just not going to be able to write any more Christmas cards because I suffered for so long afterwards. But it was always my big thing to do. But I went home last night, and I did all my Christmas cards without any pain. And for her to drive all the way back to the mall to tell me that this pen made that big of a difference. So it's the little things that someone can continue to do for themselves that can make all the difference in the world. So this little pen goes into your finger like this so that you can write without any stress at all in your hand. So if you've got carpal tunnel or you've had a stroke and grasping is just difficult or you just can't do it, it just rests in there so you can continue to write without any pain. So that's great. Or you can't write, you want to email, but you can't see the dadgum keys. These, they don't look this big as it is now, but once they're put on a keyboard, it makes the keyboard so much easier to see for everybody. I have a lot of school districts order these from us, too. Um, and then this magnifier, so people that, you know, you're, and I, I am at fault in this myself. That is my price tag right there. 
And I can't even see that without my glasses, but the pro all of our products are so small sometimes that if I put a big price tag, you wouldn't be able to see the product. So this little magnifier hangs around your neck on a cord, so you always have something so that you can see when you're doing something. Then you want to socialize with your friends or do whatever, but you just can't hold all the cards anymore, so you give up your card game because you suffer. Well, you find things to, so that you can kill, still do the things that you love to do. So this is a card holder, so it will hold tons of cards. And then there are the large vision cards. Um, so you can do this without um, giving up your card game. And it comes in a set of two, so you can play with your grandkids. It's great for kids, too. Um, and then you love to do your crosswords, but you can't see them anymore. So large print crossword books, Sudoku books, all that as well. Um, and then it's time, I'm just, see, I told you I was going to be fast. It's time to get ready for bed. So <clears throat> oftentimes when we go to bed at night, and I'm one of these people, I have a hard time getting comfortable, have a hard time sleeping, have a hard time breathing. Um, so this is a knee pillow so people with hip or knee problems back issues and they like to sleep on their side or whatever this has a little strap on it goes between your knees and it keeps you in alignment when you're sleeping um, is great this and these come in all different heights of the wedge this is a seven inch but there's a seven a ten a twelve um, so you can put your head up here your pillow on top of that be elevated so if you have uh, sleep apnea or breathing issues you can be elevated and or you can do it this way and sit up in bed and read um, and then but when you are elevated like that you can mimic a hospital bed this would be the head up and then when you are like that oftentimes then you have too much of an arch in your back and if you've had procedures done and you have to lay on a table and they usually will put something like this under your knees to take that arch off your back to get comfortable. So that's helpful. And then my very best selling item, as you all know, and you all have a sample of this, is the biofreeze. So um, when you know you're going to have issues falling asleep because that pain it's all you think about when you get in bed and you can't fall asleep. All my customers, they'll use it throughout the day, but it's always before they go to bed at night. They'll do the biofreeze so that they can relax enough to fall asleep. And then you have to get up in the middle of the night to do your two times a night, you know. Um, so one of the things, um, getting in and out of bed, it, you can uh, lose that. You've been laying down and you stand up fast to do your thing, and then you fall because you don't have your land legs and your blood pressure has changed so the uh, a bed rail is helpful it slips in between the mattress and box springs gives you something to pull yourself up and when you pull um, get out of bed and stand up steady yourself for a few seconds before you get going or if you do use a walk or whatever steady yourself get your walk or your cane and get going <clears throat> um, so let me show you this this is a, it is a walker, but I usually sell this more to help people get up and down instead of just getting around. It's portable. It can be used to get in and out of um, your chair, your couch, in and off the toilet. So it's like a regular walker, but you can back up to something. Therapists don't want you to use a walker with wheels because it can move and go on you. So this one is designed just to help you get up and down. So you can, you, you can lower yourself here and get down. When it's time to get up, you have something low enough, not up here or up here, depending on what, and sometimes you don't have arms. So this you can push and come up higher and get up and down. So this is really, really helpful. Um, and then the other thing, I actually own this one myself. Um, this is a called, uh, this one's an assisted tray, but there's one without the tray called a couch cane. So someone who maybe 
doesn't want to move into a lift chair just yet, but they still need help getting up and down. This is a solid device. It goes under the feet and legs of a sofa or chair or whatever. It's got a sturdy cane here to hold on to. So you can get up and then steady yourself and then get going. So all these little gadgets are things so that you can continue to be independent without as much help. And for those that are caring for someone, it just makes their life easier because they're not always can you come and help me get up? You know, so it's nice. So let's just say you are still a bit active, and but that bending and bending and bending is a backbreaker, and you think, I just don't think I can do this anymore. So we've got a lot of gardening tools as well. This happens to be one of my customer favorites. It's the leaf scoops. So you can get a huge amount of leaves in one scoop without constantly having to bend over so um, that's that I got one minute um, let's see what I didn't want to forget to say I tell you oh the outdoor step um, okay so a lady a couple days ago these were out of uh, stock so she waited and waited she had her back stoop was just too high for her to get up by herself so um, this can help getting in and out of the car if the car is just too high. That one step that's too much, I had to make sure I'm on the right side of this. So it just, it can make that one step, instead of eight inches, most steps are seven to eight inches, become four inches. So it's up, up, and easy to go. So that's very helpful. The last thing that I will say, and I'm sure I've forgotten a lot of things, um, if anyone thinks this might be beneficial, for their residents or their caregivers, um, just ask and I can do a presentation or a fall prevention seminar or anything like that. So just let me know. Thank you. Thank you.